Hi friends, I'm Jess. Welcome to Hex Library, where I post a reading, writing book, and planner related content a couple of times a week, if you can't tell from today's view. Today is going to be a planner related video. We're going to do my haul from the Halloween Archer and Olive release. I got a lot, so let's hop right into it. First thing that we're gonna go over, just because it's small and we can do it quickly, is this decorative washi tape. This is the a little ghosty one. They had two different sets. I got the ghosty set. It came with these little ghosties. And then uh, this a purple ghosty with some books and uh, I think it's a black cat ghost, I believe. Uh, it's carrying books and bats, and they're a very bookish ghost. And there's also this bat washi on a black background, which I love. And then also this silver and orange. Will she focus? The world may never know. Um, I'm not really sure that this one goes with the collection really that well, but uh, silver and orange it is. So that is the ghosty washi tape set that I picked up. Now let's get into the planners. Do I know what I'm going to use these for? No. I kind of had already picked out what I was going to use for my 2025 planners, but this may change my mind. So <laughs> first of which is this guy here and if you look on the side and you know this uh, collection at all you'll probably know exactly which one this is. I love these boxes they're so pretty. Um, will I keep the boxes? I don't know. So I got the spell book is what they're calling this. Um, it's got a door on the front of it. What's interesting about this release is that, well, A, y'all know that I love a full cover design. When I started doing bullet journaling, I was like, please, could somebody have a full cover design instead of just this little tiny thing right here in the middle? Like, I want the whole cover to be pretty. So, A, full cover design. But also, I don't know if you can see very well here. Let's see what we can do, yeah. So these stars that are on here, those are actually, gosh, what do they call that? It's basically a cutaway. It's actually a cut in the top of the the cover. This moon up top and all of these little star decorations are actually carved into it. They're a cutaway. And then the door is actually a little bit of a cutaway as well. It's not as deep as these are, but it is a little bit there. And then um, all of this is like silver foiling. There is an eye on this, which I didn't notice until um, I watched Jess at Jashi Coring go through like the release and stuff and what she was thought she was going to get. I never noticed the eye and I was like, I don't care. It's gorgeous. And then when I seen the eye, I was like, snip, still don't care. Yeah, I definitely had to have this one because it's very pretty. And it has this really interesting, just like repeating pattern on the inside. It's Archer and Olive, so the rest of it is just, you know, the, I got white, dot grid, two bookmarks, and an elastic. We love her. Next is the square one that I picked up. And uh, again, if you are familiar with the release, if I show you the side, you will know exactly which one I got. And see if we can get her open here. This is the little ghosty portrait one. I knew I wanted a square and I didn't really like the crow. Um, I am definitely going to be leaning more into the square books next year. I've already started one that is my social media content planning square and I am going to do my reading journal next year in a square but I have um, the storybook version. I guess I could show you that so you know what I'm talking about here. I have this one in a square. And so this is going to be my reading planner for 2025 because I think this is more like reading journaly. That's the one that I'll be using 
for next year for my reading journal. So I don't really know what we're using this one for, um, but she was cute and I had to have her. Just a little ghosty in a picture frame, which I think is adorable. And I actually really like it on this square, even more so than like, you know, the B5, because you'd have like this much would be chopped off. There's something about this circle in the middle of the square that really just did it for me. Um, on the inside, this one just has lots of little ghosties in there, very shiny ghosties. Um, and then, as always, you know, your bookmarks, your elastic, ta-da, ta-da. She's very cute. I'm very happy with her. The spell book one may end up being my daily planner for 2025, but I do have another one as well that I have planned on using for 2025. We'll see what happens when 2025 rolls around and I have to make decisions. I did end up getting the Halloween box and the Halloween box I picked up solely because of the planner that is in this because it is breathtaking honestly it is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen it is 90 times spooky it is 120% me it, I can't cannot describe it's very much in contention to be my 2025 planner so um the other stuff in here was just I didn't really care about but I had to have that planner. In here we got, I love the packaging, but honestly, these boxes are so expensive. Like I think this box was like $75 and probably 30 of that is what they spend on packaging. And you know, I'd rather spend less on the box and have less packaging, but here, it's neither here nor there. Um, so this came with, and I also liked this as well, because you know, I love my little decorations. This one has a little, like a filler paper but it's black and gray and this really pretty dark maroony color um so you can like use these in your planner as well when i looked at the pictures i thought this was going to be a full size like the other ones that we get this is the full size one this is what we got so that's on me i didn't read that close enough but yeah i was definitely expecting the full size one but that's on me. I didn't read close enough. I was just excited, but I do like these colors a lot. But like this didn't need to come in a box that's like this super heavy duty box that the planners come in. It, it didn't, it didn't need all that. It did not. Next, something I have zero interest in, a calligraphy set. Can't even get the box open. I mean, the box is gorgeous. We love bats. Like A, I don't know how to use a fountain pen or write in calligraphy in any way, shape or form. I don't really care. Um, it does come with a red, a black, and a glow-in-the-dark ink. So like if you are someone who can be artistic and artsy with that, um, I think this would be a good set, but it's not something that I'm going to really have any use for, so I'll probably look on a resale site and see if anybody's interested in it because it's not really something that I'm going to use and I don't want to just throw it away. It's there. It exists. It's a thing. Next in the box is decorative tape. I don't even remember what's in here, honestly. Like I said, I was just like so jazzed for the planner that I didn't even really pay that much attention to what else was in it. I have problems, but it's fine. Okay, ooh, four tapies. Okay, so we've got, oh, that's pretty. Um, like a green candle. Those are pretty. I haven't done my Halloween planner yet or my October setup yet, so these will probably be in that. Ooh, hello. Um, this is like a reddish background with like a gray tree limb. We'll go with that. And this one we know I love. It is the moon. It's got, just got moon phases on it. We love a moon phase. And then this one we also love. It's got like a little haunted house and shrubbery and trees and bushes and bats and then back around to the haunted house and the moon. We love it. So that's really cute, I like that. And the, the last thing in here is the book. When I tell you guys this thing is gorgeous, if you haven't seen this release yet, you might pass out. It's, it's beautiful. Okay, I mean, look at her. She's beauty, she's grace, she's gonna punch you in the face. Look at her. So the red is obviously a red foiling. This one down here that is the moon shadow is actually etched in. The bats are also etched in and are a silver foil. And then all of this tree work and shrubbery is all etched in as well. Um, it, it's, it is just, I mean, how could I not, you know? Like how could I? not. I had to have her. She had to come live with me. 
It's got bats on the inside. I thought I was going to just like walk away from this release and be like, I don't need anything, it's fine. And then this popped up and I went, <laughs> I'm in trouble. I am in so much trouble. Like I said, I have choices next year for 2024. I think I have two other planners. Let's look, let's see, while we're here, let's just, you know, discuss. So we've got these two and we've got this gorgeous moon. We've got the spell book. This is one of the other ones that I have that is just like a shooting star pattern or a falling star pattern, if you will, since they're going downwards. And then our friend, the moon phases, and she's purple. So like these are my options for 2025 and it's gonna be hard to decide. And also I clearly don't need any more planners. Like <laughs> we're clearly covered, you know, because I'm only gonna need one of these next year. And then what are the other three going to do but sit on my shelf all year? I have no idea. But that is what I picked up from the 2024 Halloween release from Archer and Olive. Let me know down below if you picked up anything from this year's release for Halloween. If you had a favorite of, um, if you have a favorite of these two, because these two are the ones like, obviously the square one, I'm gonna go with the square one. I know which square one I'm using. Honestly, I obviously know which square one I'm using for 2024 five for my reading journal. We're using the storybook one. What are we using the ghosty for? The world may never know. Um, it'll probably just hang out until I need another social media planner, which will probably be 2035. And, <laughs> but these ones, I have to, I do have to pick one for next year. And I 120% was like, this is going to be the one. Like I bought this one specifically to be my 2025 planner. But then these guys popped up. I don't know. Or if you have an idea of um, another type of planner that I could star, like a collection or something of that sort, or if there's content you would like to see on the channel, planner content, something that I could do, because I can, I'm always happy to use one of these as an R&D journal as well, which is research and development, in case you didn't know. I don't know, I'm just, I'm jazzed. Like these are so me that honestly, even if I don't use them, they may just like be, I mean, I'm going to use them at some point, but if I don't use them for 2025, they may just sit on my bookshelves, like face out, instead of sitting in a box on the shelf because they are so pretty. If you made it this far in the video, leave me a bat emoji down below to let me know that you made it this far. If you don't wanna miss anything else going on in the Hex Library, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.